about 2009, we were looking at, at uh, demand that we had for student accommodation going forwards and we looked at the accommodation that we had. The traditional Kensington Colleges, Bassa, Baxter and Goldstein held about 414 uh, beds um, and we knew that demand we had far exceeded that. And in looking to the future, we also knew that the buildings that we had weren't going to last much longer. The client's brief for the project was to re-establish three existing colleges on campus. And really the first thing we were trying to get our heads around was what is the Kensington Colleges as a whole and what are the individual colleges within it? How does that manifest itself in the design? What does it mean in terms of overall public spaces and massing arrangement? What does that mean in terms of material approach? We came to the site and saw so many different types of brickwork the question wasn't, should it be out of brickwork? It was, what type of brickwork should it be? It was the older clinker bricks that had a whole lot of variety within the quality of the brickwork. We chose to interpret the natural variability of the clinker brick in a contemporary way with blending. By blending two or three different types of brick in a random way, we create that natural variability that's so appealing in the clinker brick. There are several different brick blends used on this project. On the outer facades, we used a blend of three face bricks to reinforce the identity of the five colleges as a whole. This blend is used consistently across the project. On the inner facades, we used a blend of three bricks in a glazed brick, and each college is provided with one highlight colour to express some individual identity. The inner facades, on the other hand, are faceted in form and provide with glazed brick, providing a real sense of uh, reflection and a beautiful quality of light reflected down into the courtyards. Getting the balance of the brickwork blends just right was a painstaking task. We started in the office by making up several sample panels, testing different blend percentages. To get the pattern just right, we could have specified the individual location of each brick, but that would have been prohibitively complicated. We fell back on a traditional process of blending where we specified the overall percentage of each brick type and it was left to the craftsmanship of the bricklayer to lay out the final arrangement. While we've used glazed brickwork before, we've never done so on this scale. We really saw an opportunity on this project to use glazed brickwork on large portions of the facade to really bring a contemporary quality to what could otherwise be a potentially quite traditional looking building. Now while Austral Bricks had several standard colours in its normal range, we needed additional colours to represent the unique identity of each of the colleges. The brick pattern has been um, one of the features that we have used as a reference point to the old buildings. The particular colours that we chose for each college work with a colour palette that the architects put together for us that gave the individual colleges their own branding, their own markings, which to these communities is actually really important. The blending patterns are quite interesting. There's a subtle difference between patterns appearing in the brickwork and randomness appearing in the overall effect. What we found was when we were using three colours, the mid-tone had to be the predominant colour or otherwise it started to look very patchy. And when we were using two tones, a 50-50 blend looked like we were trying to create an overall pattern or graphic in the brickwork, even though we weren't. Students have absolutely loved it um, from the day they moved in right through until now. They've really, really appreciated the thought and the hard work that's gone into creating the spaces that they inhabit now. They loved their old buildings. Um, the students that we worked with back in 2010, 2011 when we were putting together the brief had a lot of strong feelings about the buildings and I know that the students who live here now will have just as strong feelings about these buildings. The projects won several awards in 2014. At the Master Builders Awards in New South Wales, it won Best Integrated Housing and Best Use of Brickwork. At the Think Brick Awards, it won the Horbury Hunt Commercial Award and the Grand Prix for Best Overall Project. And at the Australian Institute of Architects, it won a state and national award for multi-residential housing. To me, the real success of this project is how it balances the identity of the five Kensington Colleges as a group, as a singular group, and the individual identity of the five. And that's brought out in the balcony colours, in the uh, plan arrangement, in the grouping of rooms, and most clearly in the selection of brickwork.
The university is really um, pleased and proud um, that this scheme has won the awards. For the architects as well, for Bait Smart, it's been a real validation of the hard work that they put in, getting the brief right, getting the details right, the brickwork particularly being such a detailed piece of work that had to be done. I think that the university in future will look at this scheme and try and reproduce the experience that we've had all the way through the project when building student accommodation again. Thank you.